Zero Edge T4 touchscreen dash camera unboxing. The T4 dash camera features full HD 1920x1080p dual lens recording, a 4 inch TFT LCD color touchscreen, up to 155 degree wide angle lens, dual lenses for simultaneous recording front and back, built in G sensor, motion detection, parking mode and audio recording. When you open the box, the first thing you'll see is a T4 dash camera. If you remove the insert, you'll see the rest of the accessories the camera comes with. A USB power lead to connect the dash camera to your car ignition or cigarette lighter socket. A cable pry tool to help make for an easier installation. Tuck in the USB cable underneath the headliner and behind your car panels. A short USB cable for connecting the dash camera to a computer to make it easy to transfer video and photo files without having to remove the micro SD card. The rear dash camera comes with an adhesive mount and adjustable using the thumb screw. A 26 foot long USB cable to connect the front camera and rear camera together. This should be sufficient for just about any sort of motor vehicle. A pack of six adhesive backed cable clips to make the installation easier and keep your cable out of the way. Suction cup mount for the front camera. The suction cup is also adjustable using the thumb screw. This allows you to adjust the angle of the camera, making sure you get the best view through the windscreen. By twisting the top of the mount, you can lock or unlock the suction cup. The T4 dash camera also comes with a 32GB micro SD card. And finally the USB charging adapter which fits in your car's auxiliary socket or cigarette lighter socket. This has two USB ports so you can power the camera as well as recharging your phone or electronic device. A thank you card is included in the package. and the T4 user guide. T4 dash camera assembly. Insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot on the bottom left hand side of the camera. This is marked number 5 in the product overview of the user manual. Ensure the pins on the micro SD card are facing the rear of the camera. Then with your finger or thumb push the micro SD card into the camera until it clicks into place. To connect the suction cup car mount Line it up with the slot in the top of the dash camera. Once lined up, insert the car mount into the slot on the top of the dash camera, then push until it clicks into place. The angle of the car mount can be adjusted by loosening the thumb screw and twisting the car mount. The dash camera can also rotate in the car mount. Take the power lead and connect the power lead to the micro USB connector labelled number 1 on the product overview. With the 26 foot long USB cable you can connect to the mini USB connector 
This is labelled number 3 in the user manual product overview. Connect the other end of the rear camera cable to the rear camera. Connect the micro USB power lead into the car light to socket adapter or your car auxiliary power. T4 dash camera setup. With the micro SD card inserted and connected to the power, the T4 dash camera will automatically turn itself on. The first time the dash camera is powered on, it will request that you initialize the system. Click yes to proceed. The dash camera will prompt you to choose a language. You will then be prompted to fill in the date and time. Use the up and down arrows to select the day, month, year, hour, minute. Afterwards, click the OK button to confirm the settings. The button on the right hand side of the touchscreen allows you to select the display options. You can select front only, rear only or dual PIP display. The record and pause button in the bottom left hand corner of the display allows you to stop and start the recordings. When recording, a red dot will flash in the top left of the screen along with a timer. The padlock icon allows you to set the video protection. When enabled, a padlock symbol will be displayed at the top. You can click the menu button to enter the main menu. From here, you can adjust the loop recording time. You can choose video playback. You have the choice of playing back emergency videos or normal videos. Select the video you wish to play back and then use the buttons on the bottom of the screen to play, pause, rewind or delete the video. Use the back arrow to return to the previous menu. You can exit from the menu by pressing the circular button in the bottom center of the display. You can view and delete photos in the same manner. Just select the photo capture icon from the main menu. Clicking the settings option will take you to the dash camera's settings. Here you can adjust the date and time, date stamp, auto off, frequency and driver ID. Press the arrow key to go to the second page of settings. On the second page of settings, you can adjust the exposure, key tone, choose language, adjust the G-sensor sensitivity, turn on or off the logo stamp. The last page of the menu allows you to turn on or off the startup chime, change the screen themes, change the screen auto off settings, Restore to the default settings, turn the motion detection on or off, or see the software version.